In this video, I'm going to discuss my favorite free Amazon tool with you, SmartView. Now, I might be a bit biased because SmartView is a tool that we've developed internally at AI Hello, but I honestly believe that it is hands down the best free analytics dashboard for Amazon sellers right now. So let me share my screen, give you a tour of this platform, and explain how you can create your free account today. Hey, everyone. So I'm in the dashboard now. Uh, to create an account here, you very simply just go to this URL over here, smartview.aihello.com. You just click Create Account on the landing page, and you'll just add a username and a password. And once you're in, it will prompt you to connect your Amazon ad account and your Seller Central account. Once those are connected, you will have something similar to what you see in front of me right now. And I'll just give you a tour of this dashboard and kind of explain the different features that we offer. Right. So the first thing you'll see is this profile graph, which includes all of your metrics, both for advertising and business reports. So over here, you'll find some things that you'd see on Campaign Manager, like ad spend and ad sales, but you'll also find other things like organic sales, which you can find on Amazon. Uh, you'll find total ACoS, which you also can find on Amazon. And you'll also find business report metrics, like unit session percentage and total sales, which you'll never find on the same graph uh, as your advertising metrics on Amazon. So this is the main chart. You have a mini graph for every single metric, and you can select any two and just display them over here. After that, you have your tab section. The tab section consists of different windows, which include certain information about different parts of your business. The first two tabs you'll find are the Insights tab and the Business Reports tab. Over here for Insights, you're going to find your total sales, your ad spend, your ad sales, your ACoS, and your TACOS. You'll see the number for the current period, as well as the number for the previous period, and the percentage change, and a CY button, which you can click to explain the difference that you're seeing whether positive or negative. This CUI feature is in beta, so you might face some bugs while using it, but everything else on this platform has been fully functional for months. On the other side of the screen, you have business reports, which includes sessions, buy box, units sold, and sales, which is again total sales. We have it in both insights and business reports, and we also have the unit session percentage, all with the same layout of the current number, the previous number, and the percentage change, as well as CY in the same places. Your next two tabs are most important campaigns, which are your highest revenue campaigns, right? Uh, you can select any metrics over here to add them in. So you can compare it. Uh, and you can also search for specific campaigns here. And you'll see how your campaigns are performing on these different metrics, as well as the percentage change in the metric, whether up or down compared to the previous period over here. Similarly, you have your targeting analysis, which is your different targeting types. So keyword, auto product and category with any metric that you want, as well as the percentage change from the previous period and the current number for this metric. Up next is product overview, which is basically all of your business reports and advertising metrics for any product in your catalog. You'll see a table with all of your products over here with, again, the metrics that you selected from this menu. And you can see the current figure and the percentage change. And if you have a lot of products, you can just search for the specific ones that you want from the search bar. After that, you have your organic tracker, where you can add any product that you want to track using this button. And once you add this product, you can add these specific keywords that you want to track, and you can see your organic rank on them, right? So you either got the number from 1 to 200, or if your rank is below 200, uh, it will just show as greater than 200, right? And you can add and remove keywords over here. After that, you have ad type analysis, which shows your different ad types. Again, with your choice of metrics and the percentage change, you have your worst performing campaigns, which are your highest ad spend campaigns that are at an above average ACoS. And you can use this to quickly spot money burning campaigns and do something about them. After that, you have your different placements and how those are performing. And you can again use this to align your placement boosts to invest more in the placements that do better for your business. You have your search term analysis, which is every search term producing match type or targeting type with all of the metrics that you want to track for them. So the first two metrics are the total terms that you have and the terms that have converted. So over here, you have 1,498 exact match terms uh, with only 61 terms converting. And then you can add any other metric. Over here, I have ad spend. I also have ad sales, but you can add anything else that you want from this drop down. Right. And then you can also sort everything here. And this applies to all the other tabs. So you can sort it by the best performing targeting type in terms of ad sales or in terms of ACOS or in terms of anything else. Finally, you have another window which shows your performance across territories. If you guys are in more than one country, you have keyword analysis, which shows you the percentage of keywords above or below a certain target ACOS. Uh, as well as the amount of spend that's going towards keywords with zero sales. And then finally, you also have account progression, which is basically a weekly or monthly report that's automatically generated 
covering both business reports and advertising metrics that show you basically how your business is progressing. So right now I have the weekly option selected for this period. And you can see, for example, week of December 29th, these are our numbers, week of December 22nd, these are the numbers, and so on. So you can compare every week with you easily, and you can also see the percentage change from the previous week. So over here you can see we're down 49.6% in terms of ad spend compared to the previous week, right? That's pretty much it for this demo. Again, you guys can go to smartview.aihello.com. The URL is on the screen right now. Uh, you can just go to this page, create your free account, connect to your Amazon account, and your number should be synced within a few hours, and then you'll get access to the same exact page that I've shown you here. And if you guys are interested in using our help further after that, you can just find us on www.aihello.com and check out the software and managed services that we offer. Thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again next week.